Yes, I know that Armoth comes out with a fragrance every day, <laughs> but that's why I'm doing this list. Don't worry about it. I got you covered. What's going on YouTube? It's your guy Darian, man. Bowtie. Fragrance guy. We talk about fragrances and fashion on this channel. So if looking good and smelling great are of equal importance to you, I recommend you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> And take another quick second, man, go ahead and tap the bell icon as well to make sure, or as best you can, to ensure you get notified when I upload new content on this channel. So guys, on today's video, you see the title, we're going to be talking about the top five fragrances from the house of Armoth of all time. Like I said, I know that they come out with a fragrance every day. I understand that. That's why I got you covered. That's why I'm doing this list, because I just want you to be able to choose the top five and then kind of roll from there, because if not, you're gonna be spending about 23 days going through the 396 fragrances that they have in that port. So I got you covered, trust me, I got you. So that's what we're gonna be covering today, man, the top five, the top five. And I know you guys are sitting there right now at home trying to guess what the five are. I don't know if you're right or not, you're probably not. But we're gonna get into it. So if you wanna know, in my humble opinion, what the top five are my fragrances are, then you know the routine, man. Keep it locked. Right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in, man. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this list. If you don't know, if for some reason you don't know, I don't know what that reason may have been. Maybe you just started today. That would be the only excuse. If you just started today to look into fragrances, then maybe you haven't heard of this house. But other than that, I'm sure you have heard of the house of Armoff. And pretty much just to really simplify it, Armoff is a fragrance house that does, in my opinion, pretty good clones of very popular fragrances. Point blank period in the discussion, that's what it is. And with that being said, again, I think they have some really good uh, fragrances that they've come up with. Now, a lot of the fragrances where they've kind of blended this fragrance and that fragrance together, you probably won't see many of those fragrances on this list, but the ones that I have chosen, again, I think are five of the best that they have come out with. So, let's go ahead and get into it. The first fragrance up on the list in the number five spot this fragrance was actually marketed towards women. And this is this one right here, which is Club de Nuit Intense for Women. Club de Nuit Intense for Women. Some of the main notes that you're gonna find in this, of course, is you're gonna find a nice note of rose. You have vanilla and patchouli on the dry down with some saffron. And of course, this fragrance was made to smell like Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. Now, honestly, I don't have Noir de Noir in my collection. I did have a nice size sample of it, but once I was able to procure this bottle for about 27 bucks, as big as my collection is, I was like, eh, you know, one day I am gonna pick it up because I am a collector. I do want that in my collection, but honestly, this fragrance right here is definitely sufficing for uh, a fragrance. If I want that Noir de Noir kind of kind of feel, I just reach for this one. Again, it was marketed towards women because that note is very, very prominent. Of course, no, uh, Rose is the main note in this, but they did a darn good job at capturing the scent DNA of Noir de Noir and putting it in this bottle. So definitely to me, it deserves uh, a spot on a list like this because it is a really, really good replica of Noir de Noir. So check this one out. Men or women could wear this, so this is very, very unisex and it is darn good for the price of $27, you can't beat it. So in the fifth spot on this list, this is called Club de Noe Intense for Women. All right guys, now coming in at the fourth spot on this list, this is one of the first Armand fragrances that I picked up um, in the whole line or range of Armand fragrances. And this one is called Tre Noe. Tre Noe. Now of course, this one was a replica of uh, Creed's Green Irish Tweed, and man, this is one of the one of the first batches of this thing that they came out with. Um, and man, I can tell you right now, they did an amazing job of capturing the Green Irish Tweed DNA. 
uh, the note breakdown is almost the exact same. You have lemon verbena, you have iris, you have sandalwood in this as well. Man, and they just, again, if you like green iris weed, this is a great alternative. To me, all these fragrances, they got about that 90, 95%, they got it right as far as capturing the DNA. Now again, a trained nose can pick up on some very subtle differences, but again, when you can find these fragrances for under 30 bucks, man, it's a no-brainer. Whether you just don't wanna spend that, um, that amount of money on a fragrance like a Green Irish Tweed or a Noir de Noir, or whether it's just you have those fragrances as well and you, are, you don't wanna run through your bottle that quick, it's great to have backups like this that's gonna give you, again, about 95% of what you get from that fragrance and only have to spend 25 to 30 bucks. So in the fourth spot, very deserving to me, this one is called Tre Nui Pour On. All right, guys, coming in in the third spot, this fragrance is called Club de Nui Siage. Club de Nui Siage. Now this one was released last year in the year 2020, and of course, this one is a replica of Silver Mountain Water from Creed. I love this bottle, man. This was a very, very creative bottle. That's a side note, but I think they got this about 92% right. Uh, the heart of this one to me is a little bit different from what you get from Green Irish Tweed. This has iris in it, so it gives a little bit more of, of course, that powdery vibe that you get from iris, oftentimes in fragrances. A lot of the notes in this fragrance outside of that are really, really similar, or they give off very similar vibes to the notes that you get from Green Irish Tweed, but I'm sorry, that you get from Silver Mountain Water. But ultimately, again, I still think they got it about 90, 92% correct with this one. And again, this is great quality. A lot of people talk about the quality of Creed fragrances over the past couple years going down, which, you know, I probably have to, I definitely have to agree with that. But if you have one of those, especially one of those earlier batches of Silver Mountain Water, you do pick up some differences. But again, who's complaining? Because at about that, you know, with this one, probably about that 40, maybe $50 price point. It's still coming down a little bit, but this is a great fragrance to have in your collection, a great alternative to Silver Mountain Water. So check it out. Again, this one is called Club de Nuit Siage. All right, guys, now coming in at the number two spot on this list, I think this one came out around 2019, maybe early 2020. I think it was 2019, but uh, another one from the Club de Nuit extension of fragrances, and this is Club de Nuit Milestone. Club de Nuit Milestone. And this one is a replica of uh, Millicene Imperial. And I just like this one a little bit better than Sea Eyes. To me, uh, I think they did just a little bit better job of capturing the Millicene Imperial DNA in this one than they did in Sea Eyes. That's just my opinion. And that's why to me this comes in the number two spot on this list. Now if you look up the notes on this, uh, sea notes, red fruits, I mean uh, ambroxan, it's kind of a generic note breakdown. It doesn't really resemble uh, the note breakdown for Millicene Imperial, but somehow, some way, they arrived at a very, 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 very similar uh, fragrance DNA. And again, this one is about 95% close, man. They really did a great job on this one. And I love it. And what I love about this one, as well as the other fragrances on this list, they perform great. So if you put them up against a later batch of Creed, you're gonna get better performance um, out of these fragrances nine times out of 10. So man, again, and we're talking about these fragrances, finding these for under $40, um, $40 price point, so they're inexpensive, and they perform great, which is usually a great recipe for a lot of folks um, when they're looking for a great scent. So the number two spot goes to this one, Club de Nuit, Milestone. And guys, coming in at the number one spot, I hate to be anticlimactic, but it is what it is. The best Armand fragrance of all time is this one right here. Club de Nuit, Intense for Man, that's right, the Creed Aventus clone is the best fragrance from that house. This one that I have is one of those first couple batches that came out and I am trying to cherish this one. I don't spray this as much anymore because I don't have a whole lot left. I know you can't see through the bottle, but I know how much I've used it and I can tell that this bottle was really, really low. Now I have uh, two backup bottles of this, so most of the time when I'm gonna spray it, I just spray one of those, but this one, even more so than the more recent batches, is, is really, really close, man. Again, they got about that 95%, especially on this one that I have right here, 95% close to Creed 
Aventus. Um, again, I talk about this all the time. Creed Aventus has been a victim of his own success. The popularity, the notoriety that that fragrance received because it was so good. It was so good and it was so original when it came out. But of course, as you guys know what happens a lot nowadays, if a fragrance is really good, folks are going to try to replicate the DNA. And that one was done just to buy about any fragrance house that you can think of. They came up with their own version of Creed Aventus. But to me, this still stands as, especially when you talk about the price point on it, it stands as one of the, one of the best uh, replicas of Creed Aventus' DNA. And this is simply called Club de Nuit Intense for men. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this list as I gave you the top five fragrances from the house of Armand of all time. As always, I appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, man, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget, guys, take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And share these videos out to some other folks that could use this information or be entertained by it. Whichever one it is, it works for me because I'm your guy, Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.